Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can add in your historical grant opportunities, including how to import a spreadsheet of funders so that you can centralize it all in your instrumental tracker and have everything in one place. To start off, we're going to jump into our instrumental account. And from here, you can navigate to the top left corner quick find search bar, which is right underneath our logo. Click once into this quick find search bar and then type in the name of the funder or grant opportunity you want to add. As an example, I'll look up the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. And sometimes you might see results split up into two sections, opportunities and 990 reports. Opportunities are going to be active RFPs where the funder is currently taking in applications for this and it's been posted online. You can absolutely click on an opportunity and save it to your tracker using this green save button on the top right. However, if you don't see an opportunity there, then you can click on the 990 report result, which these are separated by different EINs. I'm going to click on the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation based in Princeton, New Jersey, and that's going to open up the funder profile. Funder profiles are going to have a table of contents on that right hand side where you can immediately jump down to an overview and all of those 990 insights for this funder, such as contact info, key people, where the past grantees are located, openness to new grantees, and top funding categories by NTEE. If you want to save this funder ad hoc to your tracker or log a historical opportunity from this funder, you can hit this green plus add new button at the top. And this is going to start the process of creating a custom record from this funder. All you have to do is assign an opportunity name. This can be any name that you want. And the easiest thing is to call it the funder's name and then the word grant. So if I type in Robert Wood Foundation Grant, then I'll be able to add this custom name in using the blue plus add as a new funding opportunity. That's going to override all of the other options that may have been there and assign it the name that I had just typed in. From here, you can assign it to a project, change the status if you'd like. Maybe this is the one I submitted last month. And know that whenever you go about creating these custom records, when you save them to your tracker, they will only get published to your own account. So it doesn't get published to the broader instrumental database. Only folks on your account will be able to see this. You'll notice that now that I've saved it to my tracker, it's going to show up in this save to tracker section and I'll be able to easily search for it in my broader tracker using this search bar on the top right corner. So now if I type in Robert Wood, I'll see that grant that I had just saved pop up here. If you have a spreadsheet of grants that you were keeping track of before you got to Instrumental, we can import all of that data for you. And you can start that process using this green plus add new button on the right hand side of your tracker. If you go down to upload many, you'll see a link to download our grant template. This is going to open up a Google Sheets template where you could either make a copy or download it to your desktop and fill it out with all of your spreadsheets information. We just need the first five columns to be able to import these. So we need to know the funder name, which instrumental status you want it in, which instrumental project you want it mapped to, and which year. You can leave grant opportunity name if you don't have a formal name for it, and then we'll just call it the funder's name and then the word grant. Everything from column F onwards is optional, but if you have data for these columns, such as reporting deadlines, uh, we can upload as tasks or amounts that you've won. Since we have instrumental fields for all these, if you put in data in these fields, then we will import that as well. But only the first five are mandatory here. Once you have filled out this template, saved the file, you can upload that back here in the same exact window. So just to recap, this was the green plus add new, upload many. And from here, you can choose the file that has your completed template. And once you press submit, those templates come straight to me and my team. And we can usually get these uploaded within the next few business days, depending on the size of the spreadsheet. 
once you have everything uh, imported to instrumental whether you've done it ad hoc through the quick find or submitted it as a spreadsheet the nice thing is that having it in instrumental will link it to our 990 reports so here if i had looked up that robert wood grant and I open it up for my tracker, I'll immediately be able to see those 990 insights from Instrumental uh, rather than if it had just stayed in my spreadsheet. And if it had been an active opportunity that I had saved, then we would link that to the uh, funders opportunity. So now you will get email notifications as that opportunities deadline is coming up and you'll also be able to start adding notes tasks and everything else that's here on the tracking side. So a lot of advantages to importing your historical grant data. You can either do it one by one in the quick find or import it as a spreadsheet. And this will allow you to centralize everything in one source of truth on instrumental. Go ahead and try uploading a spreadsheet or searching for a funder ad hoc in the quick find right now. And when you're done, you can come back and watch our next video on how to create a report of your saved grants to impress your boss or if your consultant, impress your clients.